Hi, my name is Ted with Legacy Brand Leather. This week, I'm crafting this motorcycle style dust mask. So, let's get to it. I did the uh, design in Illustrator for this piece. Here I just mocked it up with some tape and the paper, which I'm going to cut now so that I can lay it flat over a piece of leather. And there it's just a matter of tracing it on the leather so I can then cut it out. Using a rotary cutter to cut this piece, you could use a Japanese knife or a box cutter to cut that out. The pieces I'm cutting here are going to be folded over to make either the nose or the chin of the piece. Here I'm just rounding the corners, mostly so it's just a little bit more comfortable. It has a nice rounded edge to the corners here. I chose to do some pigskin for the lining on the interior. I later will share with you why I wish I hadn't. I used an old t-shirt that I cut up for the interior of the uh, respirator section. It was four pieces of black cloth on top of each other. I ended up needing only a small square of it for this project. And there was just punching out the holes uh, for the respirator section of the mask. I'm just trimming off any excess of the pigskin underneath. And here I'm using Eco Weld to glue in the cloth and the pigskin on top of that. I used a wing divider to mark where I'm going to put some stitching. I ended up wanting to stitch this piece around the entire project. I'm using a diamond pricking iron to get the stitching holes I'm going to be using here. And these holes are going to be for either the nose or the chin section. And it was a matter of stitching it up, I am using Venomo MBT number no. 5 brown thread. that I just stitched up the nose and the chin section of the piece. Ooh, and if you see that interior, that's kind of why I wish I hadn't done the pigskin. I'll explain a little bit more in a second. I found these rectangle hardware that I had held onto for a bit in my storage and ended up deciding that they were going to work perfectly for the three quarter inch elastic that I have. These pieces I'm cutting are going to be holding the hardware. 
Here I'm just making holes so that I can then attach them to the mask. From there I'm just kind of deciding where I wanted to place those on the mask, which would then fit around my face. And here I'm tracing that onto the actual mask itself, which I'm then going to punch out. I'm just using some double cap rivets to secure the hardware to the mask itself. And here's the three quarter inch wide elastic that I'm going to be using to secure the entire mask around my face. I did a test fit with the elastic around my face so I knew exactly how taut I would want it. For a ride or pretend to be a ninja. Thanks so much for watching this video. There are a couple things I'd like to change about this mask if I were to make this again and I might make another one again in the future. First and foremost, uh, I was kind of picking the pig skin for the lining as a comfort thing. But uh, as you can see, it picks up a little bit of the oils on your skin, If you're also if you're sweating, because sometimes the masks can get hot. I probably would actually use a cloth just for uh, the comfort and also the breathability of it. The fabric on the interior is just kind of tacked in there. Uh, over time, that might come loose and move about. So if this was just a strictly cloth interior, that might keep it in place a little bit better. I expect these elastic bands to loosen up a bit. It is a little bit tight at the moment, but uh, that's kind of what I wanted when I was fitting it to my face. However, the nice thing is, is that if these loosen up more than I would like, uh, you can just cut them off and just reattach them to the, the pieces here. Just a reminder, this is not a medical rated respirator. This was just something to kind of keep more of the dust that I'm sanding from my leather goods uh, just out of my face and out of my lungs. Get that dust out of my face! By no means will this capture any sort of nanoparticles or anything in regards to a sickness or illness that might be passed on if someone's coughing or sneezing. This is just purely for the fact of the, the dust particles from my sanding of my leather goods. You can find more information online if you wanted to make one that was actually medically rated. As you can see, this is kind of just for me as an aesthetic thing. I wanted it to look cool, but also have the double purpose of keeping that dust out of my face. Your punishment must be more severe. If you like this video, please hit that like button and please consider subscribing. It shows me that you want to see more content and more videos like this. I am also on Instagram at Legacy Brand Leather. I try to post there as much as possible. Lately, it's been a little bit uh, few and far between, but I want to get a little bit better at that and post a little bit more content more regularly. Other than that, I'll see you guys next week with a new video.